welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. We are in this super stadium for a super club, truly one of the iconic buildings of 21st century sport, the Allianz Arena. some performance and now here comes the response Watering game this between two very high quality sides a treat for everybody here yes Peter it's a shame it's only a, a friendly but then again that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest and I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favor of, of lots of flair skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals I suspect I've probably overstretched my my level of greed here the way Jim who do you pick out as the telling individual today yeah Giorgio Chiellini talking Azar has got himself a free kick What a start, free kick in a dangerous position in the opening minutes. And the ball's come out! It's their first effort on goal. The moans and groans are predictable, he felt compelled to try. And it's Azar. Has a goal! Oh, that was close. Barrera. Di Lorenzo. Chiesa. Barrera. Just brushed off the ball there. Chiellini. Di Lorenzo. Chiesa. Chiesa looking to get on the end of this. He's gone for it! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Lobs it in gently. Chiellini does well to read it and intercepts.
Now it's Lukaku. Spinazzola. Italy have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Alderweireld. Witzel. Hoists it forward. Still goalless at the moment. Lukaku. Swept in. Lorenzo Insigne. Dinks one in. Has a pop! Marco Verratti. Lorenzo Insigne. Spinazzola. And it's Mernier. Tielemans. Tries lifting it over. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Oh, good interception. Hazard. Could be a chance. Tries a shot! Lorenzo Insigne. Di Lorenzo. Marco Verratti played out to the right the Tongan gets into the right position to intercept Torgan Azar Benucci 15 minutes till half time good challenge he just stood firm and it's Lukaku De Bruyne Lukaku. Talking Azar. Talking at. Gets up to head it. Di Lorenzo gets it away. That'll be a throw. Jorginho. Loses his balance and loses the ball. De Bruyne. He's had it's Asa! Oh, great save, real class. Hazard sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Insigne pushes to get on the end of it. Now it's Lukaku. Right through the middle. Now it's Asa. Good clearance and very necessary. That's a throw. Witzel, out to the right. Insigne absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Witzel plays it forward. And it's half-time here. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. And we are up to the break. Belgium ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. So, deadlock still as the second half begins. But uh, up for the header! Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Meunier provides an outlet. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. And he heaves it forward. And it's Azar. And here's Lukaku. Oh. 
Italy are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for a, a header. He's delivered all right. And that has only enhanced his already huge reputation. They were obviously hoping for an early second half boost, but there are a few who can truly make it happen. And this is a very welcome tonic now. A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no sledge. So we have our breakthrough. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worked a treat. Now it's Lukaku. Tielemans. Lukaku looking as though he's being given special treatment here. Treatment he could well do without. Well, as a presence, Peter, he's the important link, so he attracts most attention. That's been leave it clear, and it's played forward. Marco Verratti. Jorginho. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, I'm inclined to feel that if I was in that dugout, I'd want the players to, to get on the front foot and grab another. Just try to, to make this one safe. Hazard battles to win it back. But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Hazard gets in to thwart him. Witzel Tielemans Cut out in the nick of time Barrera goes looking Di Lorenzo Belgium have made a great start to the second half and the score is 1-0 Immobile, Immobile! Lukaku. And here's Azar. Now it's Lukaku. Oh, real danger here. He's had a go. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Belgium are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Keeper sends it forward. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Lukaku has a pop! Oh, and that should have been two. Lukaku was totally aware of how that chance could have impacted on the game and that should have gone in. Barrera. Berdeski, Azar, Lukaku, and it's been taken straight back to Bruyne. Oh, good take in a good area. Belgium are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk.
Spinazzola drives it forward. Oh, that is asking for trouble. How about a shot? And he's onside. Oh, he's got that all wrong, and it's a penalty. And that is a huge moment in the context of the game. It's just a silly one to give away at this stage of the game. The players protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. A formality, we're level. A time for a cool head, and that is precisely what he showed. Well, that's about as cheeky as it comes. By going right down the middle, it may have backfired, but it's worked for him this time. So all square with almost no time remaining. Hazard concedes a free kick for that. And he is going into that little black book. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here. Little doubt, that is a foul. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Witzel for Marlon and here's De Bruyne great strength too strong for his opponent whistle's gone and they've got themselves a free kick and it's Azar he's had it's Lukaku oh what a wonderful stop Lukaku is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save a lovely little footballing moment Well, the opening goal did come from a corner. Now then. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Chip through. Benedeski. And that's it. So it's ended in a draw, draft and graft and everything apart from a winning goal that never came. An intriguing contest and a 